It does a point keep Eric Ten Hag in a job? Um, I don't think this makes a difference to the decision that the That's board will make. Maybe it allows them to take some more time over it. Mm. Maybe it allows them to look at their options a little bit. Uh, maybe they're not forced into rushing into a decision and making Ruvan interim manager tomorrow. Mm. But I wouldn't be surprised if this week their mind was made up. What, you think they know already? Hmm. You think they know? And I what, think they're what, waiting what, for the right man to come available. But surely the right man is available if the wrong man is in the job. No, but this kind of like two draws this week, the performances weren't great. Yeah. It was okay here. It weren't great. Um, but it almost, it's almost like a stalemate, isn't it? Like they're left in a position where now they don't have to rush into a decision. I think if we would have lost today and performed badly, I think the board think, oh, we've got to make a decision now. Yeah. And mm. I think it's kind of like neutralized now where they can go. I think they would have seen enough to go, I don't think this is our guy. However, if they are deciding, Adam, if, 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 if the board have decided that Eric Ten Hag has to go, now is the time to do it. Now's the time to get rid because you've got the international break. You've got a little bit of time, mm. little bit of wiggle room. A new manager can come in. He doesn't have the baptism of fire by playing a Premier League game immediately. If you back him now, I think you don't have to back him long haul. Yeah. Christmas, January. If you want to make a change before then, it has to be now. I, I think you look at the fixtures. I think they could potentially look at the fixtures as well and go, we've got Brentford next and Fenerbahce and West Ham away, Leicester at home, Chelsea at home. Nice fixtures. Should be nice fixtures. Yeah. Mm. Not. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is go into that game against Brentford. You have a bad result after the international break, and then it's oh now we have to change. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But the but but the board can't operate like fans, mate. Did you see? No, I don't, I'm not saying no, they what, are. But, I'm just saying that you know because it's not such a furore now. Yeah. And maybe like the dressing room will settle a bit. Everything will settle a bit. They don't have to be rushed into a decision. Well, but I wouldn't be surprised if their decision was made. A point here calms it down. A, po a point at Villa's not a bad result. No, like it's you not, guys it's were a saying good result. It's, a good it's result. not a bad result. Um, and also the, the manner of the performance, the performance wasn't was bad. Good. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't you great, but it wasn't bad. You just didn't create enough. You just don't have that goal score. Like Hoyland and Jerksy are not doing it, yeah, are they? They're, doing it. Mm. they're just not doing it. You'd I, like you'd like to think that the ownership, I think you're right. They have probably made their mind up already. They're just not going to. Did you see Jim Ratcliffe's interview with BBC? No. He said that he wouldn't commit. The question he was asked was, do you have faith in Eric Ten Hag? And he said, I don't want to answer that question, yeah. but Eric Ten Hag's a nice guy. That says it all that's to me. Oh. Like that's, if, yeah, you've said it surely you saying. have to go, yeah. no, he's my, he's my guy. We yeah. give him in a contract yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Even if you don't mean it, you have to say that. And he kind of went, well, it's not my decision. We brought footballing people in to make football decisions. So, you know, we're going to defer to that. It felt like a cop out of I an mean, answer. And so they were there today. There's a meeting on Tuesday. I think it has been scheduled for a while, but there is a meeting on Tuesday. So if you're going to hear anything about a change in this window, it'll be then. So would you... So obviously, I, I personally think a new manager, if they do get rid of Ten Hag for, for the long run, is going to be um, Ruven Isteroy. So You think that'll be for the long run? Or for the short I, I, term? I, I think it'll be for the long run, depending on how good he does. Because I think they can save some money now if if he does good for, um, for the rest of the season. If you do get rid of Ten Hag now, mm. so I, would I, you rather keep Ten Hag now and see how and see how it goes for the rest of the season, or get rid of him and try Ruvan Nistelrooy uh, uh, and then get a new the Ruvan Nistelrooy option to me is only ever an interim option. Mm. I don't think that can be you it's, know an option where you go the fans love him. There'll be a little bit of a spike in you know mood amongst the fans because yeah. they just love the manager. Maybe there'll be a spike in performance, and we'll use this to go and get a I manager. think it's so obvious what I don't has happened think it at Manchester can be. United now. It's, it's so obvious. They either need to totally commit to Eric Ten Hag. When I say totally commit, I do understand it's football and it moves very quickly. But they have to commit to the new year. So we're already, we're already in October. So it's not a huge commitment. Yeah. But it, you, either, you either make a massive definitive move now. You sack him, you move on, you use the international break to bring in a new manager, blood a new manager, and allow that new manager to find his rhythm. But or you commit to him until the new year and you really give him time. There's no point in persevering with Ten Hag now for the international break, get beat by Brentford, first game off the international break, sacking Ten Hag. Yeah, yeah. That is just, that is, that is just no, I totally agree. foolish. I agree. But also, if they do Van Nisselrooy, I think it's more of the same. To me, it's so obvious where they need to go. Do you, know, do you know, I think you can only get the Manchester United job. If I was involved in that board, you know, if you had the ear of Omar Barada or any, anyone within the framework of the club, 
I think you just simply have to look at it and go, we've made so many mistakes. The answer, mm, I know it is. You, can't, you can't apply for the Manchester United job. You can't be interviewed for the Manchester United job unless you've got a European Cup to your name. That's, the, that, that's what it needs to be. It, it, it's not Van Nistelrooy. Van Nistelrooy comes in, does well, put the contract down and sign it. It cannot be history repeating itself. It's basically, have you won a European Cup? If the answer is yes, we'll talk to you. So we'll talk to you, Thomas Tuchel. That doesn't, that doesn't necessarily, necessarily mean that they're gonna, it's going to be a good coach. It's going to work out for Manchester United, though. Give I'd you. love Thomas Tuchel right now. Yep, I so think he's the option for me. It, it has if, to be if, someone if, with if pedigree. Over, over, it's, it's over just, Graham Potter? Oh, of course, man. Fuck. Yeah, because he's, Fuck. he's got Thomas Tuchel. Oh, my God. No, but these are the names. These are the yeah, names. I know, Miles. I know, but it's mental, isn't it? I said to you, Thomas, Thomas um, um, Graham Potter shouldn't go nowhere near that Manchester United job. And you said, but, because if he gets offered that big job, he should... Mate, he should, he should yeah. crawl to Old oh, Trafford whoa, whoa, whoa. now. Wait, I mean, Miles, if he gets I think he should United take job, it. He should, he should get on his knees and yeah, crawl to Old Trafford really, he, right now. I think he should run. I should, he should run. Yeah, run, crawl, whatever. The, but the, he has to take the job. No. Do you feel... Do you feel what, he I feel that for the long run, listen... He had a he had a bad he had a bad spell he had a good spell at Brighton. Mm -hmm. He went to Chelsea. It was a bad spell. He's he's chilling out right now. He hasn't got a, he hasn't got a team right now. This Manchester United job, if he takes it now, is make or break for his for his whole career. They're talking it's about, not though because if yeah, you're United, United, he'd still get a job at West Ham. It, yeah, but or some, you know what I mean? It's still... the, the Manchester United job would eat Graham Potter alive. Yes, yeah, it big. would eat him alive. That's why I said he, would, he should run. Don't take run away job. from the job. Yeah, run Sorry, away I couldn't tell. You, I couldn't tell what direction we no, were running run. in. We're running. He should run to if, the, if Man yeah. United want him. Run there now, bro. You mean you're saying he should no, go nowhere, nowhere near, near the United. Manchester United? I think but that Miles, would, you can't yeah, turn down Man United. I know what you're saying. I do understand why, but you don't get opportunities like being the manager of the biggest club in the country often. Yeah, but he's linked to England. So if he get, if he takes Manchester United and he fails miserably, and we all know what Manchester United mm. fans are like right now, and if he and he gets a bad game, a bad game, of run, a bad um. But the Man United games, job's bigger result. than an England job. Mm, but it depends. He's an Englishman, so he could say he could consider that and be. No, but I, I, I'm an Englishman. I follow England. The Man United job is a. Bigger. But as a manager, though, Roy, you remember he came from step football to go manage England. Yeah. You understand, John? That is a great achievement, other than just Manchester United. Basically, I, think Miles, I disagree. That. I just think that the only way Manchester has, United yeah. get out of this rut is if what they if, do something proper. Like you know the managers that are around at the moment, whoever they are. Mm. I think I swear to you. Okay, maybe the Champions League puts it into a elite club. You have to have won a league. It doesn't matter where that league. You have to have won a league in the top five leagues in yeah, the yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, don't start talking to me about like Mulder or whatever. Like top five leagues. Top five leagues in Europe, you have to have won the league. Then you can go for the Manchester United. In fact, maybe it should be European Cup, you know? What maybe about Marco you need... Silva? He's wicked, isn't he? Brilliant manager. Yeah. He's wicked. But I think but he's not too, he's not too much of a risk. It can't be for Man United. They've done all these risks. Yeah. It's like it's like what I was saying for the I know look, it's working very well with Maresca, but what I wanted was just like proven, non-negotiable, proven managers. Yeah. So I just if can't I was going to take out. a risk, I know if you're going to take a risk, you, might as well you be kind of go Van Nistro or Sebastian Honus or, you know, someone like that that's doing great things at a smaller level. And I think Marco Silva has kind of taken some of those leaps and not done quite well. And he's found his, not his level, I think that's disrespectful, but I think he's found his comfort zone. So maybe similar to Unai Emery. Okay. In that... When he went to Arsenal, he was like, ooh. But then when he just comes back down a little bit, he'll get mm -hmm. those punching mm -hmm. above their weight and, and playing at that top level. Mm -hmm. I, I do think if you're going to take a risk, maybe you go rude. You go Sebastian Honus. You go someone like that. If you're not, you go Thomas Tuchel. I think that's the only name out there. Unless Nagelsmann wants it. Uh, that's, that's about the same. Unless Poch, but Poch is at USA. Nah, I don't think that's is Nagelsmann is at Germany right now, right? Is, he's a German manager. He's a German manager. German yeah. manager, right? Yeah. So let me ask you a question, Adam. Would you... If the club came out and said, you know what, we're going to get rid of Ten Hag and we're going to, we're going to take a punt on um, Ruud van Nistelrooy for 18 months because the long term we want Nagelsmann, would you go with that? Even though, even though it might be dire for 18 months. And you what was the first part of that? Sorry, I was reading the comment. Sorry. Say, so, so if the club came out and said, you know what, we want Nagelsmann, but we're going to get rid of Ten Hag because we don't, we don't feel like yeah, it's going in the yeah, right yeah. direction. We're going to keep the interim <clears> manager. We're going to keep um, Ruud van Nistelrooy for 18 months. It might not improve. 18 months is too long for yeah. interim. Mate, 18... 18 you get relegated uh, in that time. 18 get, months. But that's a, no, but you know, you, 18 months is a long... Because what, you're going to sack your interim after 12 months? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think interim... But, 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 would you, but, yeah, but that's... that's, that's okay, six that's the months then, let's say. Or tw yeah. like to the end of the season. The, cra the crazy thing is... We've Cup, got right? into a situation Keep now rude where Manchester United now need to do something... <laughs> they've almost boxed themselves into a really tricky position because they've missed the boat to sack him. If you're going to sack him, you sack him after Tottenham. If you're going to sack him, you sack him after the Brighton defeat. 
it's weird to now sack him off the back of Villa because everybody's kind of going, a point against Villa's good. So now what they need to do, I feel like they have no choice but to back him until the new year. Yeah, they have to kind of... Back him until the new year. Yeah. But if it's wrong, if that is another today, wasted season. Someone says, why not Zidane? I just don't see Zidane ever taking nah. No, no, that, by the way. You don't want it. That's a, that's a luxury we try. What, that's a luxury In, the, in the conversation as well, I think what we were trying to do is kind of like have it at least as semi-realistic. Like there is literally nothing in it for Zinedine Zidane to nothing. manage Manchester United. No, there is nothing there also, for Also, I don't think he wants to come to England. No. But no. I don't think he speaks English. He's, he's never been a kind of on the radar has he the next Very job for Zidane is probably the, the French, French manager one. or and the Real it. Madrid job in two years constantly, yeah. like, around, like, <laughs> you're constantly Zidane, linked with Paris Saint-Germain like, right, Manchester United you can say this about very few people but for Zinedine Zidane and what he's achieved with Real Madrid it's yeah. a step down Yeah, because yeah. he, he, he yeah. be- he's better off staying retired yeah. than yeah. going there and ruining his legacy because he right. would ruin a, ruin a chance again. yeah the only the only yeah, Zidane isn't. He's just not. Zidane in it. isn't the right man either. I don't think. Nah, he's not. Like, what? It's he, a bunch of the German ones, isn't it? Your two shoes, your Nagelsmann, it's always kind of. Be two shoes. Do you know when we talk me. about it like this, it's, it suddenly becomes a weird situation. When we start the conversation, I kind of go, Eric Ten Hag needs to be sacked. Manchester United need to move on from Ten Hag to have any chance of becoming the club that they want to be. Yeah. And then we talk about it, and I listen to you articulately telling me this should happen, and I listen to Adam telling me this should happen, and I kind of listen to it all, and I go. Do, do I now think that they need to stick with Ten Hag? It's there's, difficult, there's, isn't it? There's other options. Inzaghi's been spoken about a little bit. He's been doing relatively well. you got uh, Kira McKenna, who's been spoken but about. But you can't well. go for the... Yeah, like, I mean it with, I I mean it with full backwards. respect, but yeah. you cannot go for the... Ips. I know, I know. Maybe I'm just reiterating your point. That's when, I say these See, when you when you talk about it, when you look at the results and you look at what happened to Manchester United against Tottenham, Van der Ven driving through to all the Stretford End, you're like, he's got to lose his job, he's gone. He's gone. There's no way back from that result. That is his vicarage road. And then you discuss it and you go, okay, put some names on the table. Let's talk about it. And then you, you mention names, you mention names, you mention names. And you go, I can't believe I'm saying this, but they kind of have to give him till Christmas now. Mm. Because there's no point in bringing Van Nistelrooy in now. Or is there? If I was to say the top three options, if Ten Hag was to be sacked. No, but what about if top I'd three go... options, including keeping Ten Hag as one of the options? Okay, so Ten, ten Hag. Stays. That's, that's your first Van choice. Van interim. Thomas Tuchel, Thomas Frank. I think those are genuinely... Pro- if we base our ideas of what the, the next Man United manager will be on the, the rumours and the talks from the summer, it seemed like those the were the three, right? With Frank, I don't think you can go for Frank now because you spoke to Frank in the summer and you deduced, having spoken to him, that he wasn't good enough to manage your club. Yeah. You, we don't know how the conversations went though, innit? Well, it definitely went... Yeah, you're not they manager. didn't give him the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, we don't know. Like, two, they spoke to Tuchel and yeah. they liked Tuchel. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. just never, about, never happened. Be, they spoke to, they didn't they? They spoke to Gareth Southgate as well. I'm oh, my. They're trying to wind you up, but they've, they've been... I think David like, Ornstein rubbished that. Did he? I, I, he came out at the time and went, Gareth Southgate isn't a realistic option for Manchester United. Right. Um, and when he said that, I was like... Yeah. Thank yeah, God yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah. But, but, but it's, it's so obvious. You know, sometimes when you're just like, that's just a terrible idea. That one is just a terrible idea. Like, that just can't happen. But I do think it's interesting that Ten Hag is just, it's so it's so fair and just for Ten Hag to lose his job. But then as soon as you explore it and you go, okay, who then? Suddenly it becomes really difficult. The only, the only thing you can do, and I think a lot of Manchester United fans, certainly Manchester United fans online, what I've seen, they look exasperated. They're going... I don't care who it is, yeah, that's mental. just not him. That's yeah, mental. That's bad. But it can get it right. But you, you know that mentality that I've felt like yeah. that before. You're like, like when po- at the end of Potter, I was just like, I, I don't care. It, like literally get this man out of the club. It can't be him. Mm. Which I know I don't feel that way about Ten Hag. Like in an ideal world, he turns it around. But it's just my feeling is this won't be turned around.